If I told you I put 227 horsepower worth of gasoline in my car, you'd think I was an idiot. And you'd be right, because I just used a measure of power to describe a unit of capacity, and you can't do that. But you just did the same thing when you told somebody a Tesla has a 100 kilowatt battery. It doesn't. Electric cars are coming quick. You should probably learn this stuff now. There are two things you need to know when talking about an electric car. First is what's its power rating, and second is how big is its battery. When we talk about power in gas-powered cars, we use horsepower, and that's because we're stuck in the 1800s and because horses are so cute. But nerds use a unit called kilowatts, and a kilowatt is 1,000 watts or 1.34 horsepower. Therefore, an electric motor rated at 100 kilowatts makes 134 horsepower. Super simple. Next is battery capacity, and we can't talk in terms of gallons of gasoline like we would on a normal car because they don't use gasoline. So instead we use a unit called kilowatt hours. It sounds like kilowatts, the power, but it's not. Kilowatt hours is a measure of energy capacity. And it's very simple. A battery rated at 100 kilowatt hours can deliver 100 kilowatts for one hour. Or it could deliver 50 kilowatts for two hours or one kilowatt for 100 hours. Super simple. And that capacity works in both directions, both in terms of power out of the battery to propel the car or power into the battery like charging. So if you ask me how long a Tesla's battery takes to charge, I need to know two things. How much can it hold and how quickly can I put that in? In the case of the Tesla, it's 100 kilowatt hours. A typical home charger might be able to deliver 7.2 kilowatts. So I divide 100 by 7.2, and I'm left with something on the order of 14 hours. Tesla's next generation fast charger will be able to deliver 350 kilowatts. So it should be able to charge that 100 kilowatt hour battery in like 17 minutes, if the battery could actually accept that much power, which it probably can't or it would explode, which is probably what your brain is doing from all this math. <laughs> but seriously, very simple. Kilowatt is a measure of power, kilowatt hour, is a measure of capacity. Now really, was that so hard? For more obnoxious yet insightful videos on the proper care and feeding of cars, don't forget to subscribe to the ECME YouTube channel. And for the love of God, please share this video with a friend who thinks his gas tank holds 305 horsepower, or that his engine makes 21.7 gallons of power.